they are miserable and they don't know what to do with themselves. They reflecting themselves off you. I'm done making excuses for these f***ing bullies. Just because your life is miserable, you think you can just go around make everyone else's life miserable? How am I supposed to feel bad for you? Who's feeling bad for me? It got me thinking, f*** it, I'm hurt. I admit I'm hurt. Even at this age, while I'm on vacation, I still get bullied over some troll on the internet. I know what you may be thinking. Well, they're troll. They are miserable. They don't have a life. Who cares? Focus on you. Yeah, I understand all of that. I make this YouTube channel to talk about not giving a crap about what anybody think. But you know what? I'm only human. I still feel hurt. Especially when I'm over here minding my own business. I was so mad that I reported to YouTube without screenshotting the message. But it was something like this. On my food channel, hey, you look like the people who are born here, yet your English is worse than the people who just landed from China. How about learn some English first before you start a YouTube channel? Are you serious? You know, this brings back so much memory because I have been bullied all my life since I was a young little girl until high school, until my first job, being a waitress, and until now, 37. Like, what the hell? You know, it got me thinking, is there something really wrong with me? Why am I always the victim of these bullies? You know, and I hate being the victim. But it just gets so tired and so draining to the point I get bullied monthly, if not weekly. So if you come across this video and this is how you feel and this is how you try to pull up every day in life, walking out there, not sure who is going to bully you next, I really hope this video finds you. Let's have a heart to heart and have to deal with these bully, where it come from and what we can do to really not let it get to us. Not by saying, who cares? Just let it be. No, you cannot let it be. I wish I can just let it be and not wake up at 5 a.m. to make this video for you guys because it bothers the shit out of me. Like, what did I do to deserve this? Hi, it's your friend Delilah. Let's dive right in. Not going to have any chapter today. I'm just going to tell my life story. If this is what you have to pull through life on a daily basis, not knowing when's the next time you are going to get picked on, this video is for you. Now, let's talk about why bullying hurts so much, okay? I'm not sure about anybody else, but my case, I was a mistress child. Both of my parents are not around. My dad was married to somebody else. My mom was embarrassed that she had me and the whole town called her out on it. She disappeared. She had to go to work and make the money. I grew up with grandma. So many people in my town, whenever they see me, they would be, oh, that's the mistress child. That's the girl that have no dad and her mom's never around. Lucky I have some good friend who protect me whenever there's somebody come up to me and say stuff like that. She was literally push their bike down. These boys that say that to me and say, don't ever talk to my friends like that. You know, but it just fucking hurts. Like as a five, six, seven, eight years old, what the hell do I know about life to be called that? And then moved to the U.S. at the age of 14, went to school and these Kids who were born here, and I'm not talking about American or Caucasian, okay? I'm talking about my own race, the Vietnamese people who were born here. They were picking on me. You would think, okay, well, they're your own people. They're supposed to help you, right? I'm sure you speak Vietnamese to your parents at home. Why the hell will you be picking on me? I just came over. I was walking, minding my own business. And this girl, she would stick a fork into her ham, okay? And she would just raise it in front of my face like this, telling me, hey, I heard you don't have this in Vietnam. Do you want some? 
I don't understand a lot of things she was saying, but I know that she was trying to insult me. And I could not say anything back, you know? And it just refreshed my memory again. As I believe nine years old in Vietnam, I dyed my hair bright color because you know, my mom, she's very into fashion and she's like, okay, let's have your hair color as you want. And these kids in school, a few years older than me, I walk by and they'll be like, hey, slut, look, there's a slut. And I just ignore her. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just ignore her. I just keep walking straight. And I went into the cafeteria and I see some of the tamarind. And I was communicating to the lady who sell the tamarind. I said, hey, this is um, kind of bad. It's a little bit rotten. Do you have any fresher one? And she yanked the tamarind out of my hand and threw it at me. And she said, bad tamarind is for dirty sl like you. Are you serious? Yes, that's the type of bullying I had to deal with. And I stood up for myself because years later, after I make enough friends and so many people in school cannot stand her bullying, we got into a big fight. I really don't suggest you guys to get into a fight. But ever since that first fight happened, I thought to myself, I'm never going to let the bully bully me. I'm going to stand up to myself every time. And then guess what happened? I moved to the U.S. I got into so many fights from them calling me Fav, which is fresh out of boat. Okay? Like, is it my fault that I came to the U.S. later? That I wasn't born here? That I'm an immigrant? I got suspended out of school. Two times. You know, three times they kick you out. And, you know, sadly, my mom wasn't around either, even though I moved to the U.S. with her. She has to go make money out of state, do now. And I stay with her friend, family. And this lady bullying me, too. I had to do all the housework, taking care of her kids and her grandchildren. Yet my mom would still be sending her money for me to stay there. So I stay there and I do the work for free and I got treated like shit. Whenever she's miserable, she'll just take it out on me. She'll just open the room and she'll start saying all these stuff to me. Like it's nasty stuff. That's how people are. Like they so messed up in the head. Like, they, they don't know how to deal with themselves, even when they make mistakes that they have to just take it out on you for no goddamn reason. And I could not say anything back because if it was my own parents, at least I can speak up. I couldn't speak up. I did not have both of my parents around. I did not want to give my mom more trouble because she's working, doing nail, busting her ass off for both of us from out of state. What am I going to do, call her and cry? Make her come back to California. You know, the reason she couldn't take me with her is because she keep moving from places to places. It's going to affect my schooling. So I just sucked it up, deal with it myself. You know, on Sunday morning, which is family day, they would wake up and they would take each other to go eat breakfast. They would not even knock on my own door. And I wake up, I had to cook instant noodle and eat by myself. You know, like sometimes I'm on the phone with my friend. She'll just pick up the phone and she'll start cussing me out. And get the F off the phone right now. I have no freedom. That's why I become so angry at school. Whoever touched me, I would swing it. I didn't care. But you know, like that's just a sign of weakness. I thought I had the strength and I stood up to my bully, but it become a part of me that I, I just become this tiger whenever someone talked to me a certain way or if I hear a certain tone, I became aggressive. And it's not who I am. It turned me to become that type of person. You know, I can just go on and on for hours telling you these story because unfortunately, I have so many of them. And back to the story, why am I so upset about a troll leaving a message like that? It triggered all memory, come back that I, I am an immigrant, that English is my second language. My first fiance, during an argument, I wrote on the board, because I know he'll come home, pick up his stuff, take everything away. I don't want to ever see you again. And he erased it out and he wrote, learn more English. I don't understand your English. 
So when I see that comment left on my YouTube, this rage just came up inside of me. And I got so mad. I was just like, hold it in, put it together. Who cares? Ignore it. But I couldn't. I stopped busting out in tears in the jacuzzi outside, crying over a troll, a, a random troll's comment on my YouTube channel. So I understand that it hurt you. Especially, I cannot imagine the younger generation nowadays, how much they are being bullied with cyberbullying. And you know what's so messed up? These people don't have the balls to say it in front of your face. They can only hide behind keyboard. Of course I know that. They're not normal. They have to have some kind of pain or some kind of drama to even talk like that to someone who they don't even know. I'm asking you, if you experience this, let it out. If you have to cry, cry it out. I understand that whatever they do have nothing to do with you. It's their own trigger. How they being an asshole to you have nothing to do with you. But it's okay to have feelings. But I want you to get over that. Move on from that. Afterward, do not let it affect your life to the point that you think that you are unworthy. I guarantee you it's not personal. You know, I was still trying to make a joke out of it at first. I was still telling my partner that, hey, at least he said that I look like I'm born here. But my English just sound like I just landed from China. And my partner looked at me and he said, babe, it's okay to feel hurt. You're just trying to make a joke out of something that really hurt you right now. And it got me. It got me thinking, fuck it, I'm hurt. I admit I'm hurt. Now, after you already feel the pain and everything, it's time to move on. You know, there are things you can do without getting into a fight with bully. I want you to imagine, and I learned this from Mayor Robin, looking at a snow globe, and you see there's a little snowman in there. And when you shake the globes, all the snow go everywhere. Just imagine that when they throw tantrum and negative energy at you, it doesn't get to you because it stay in the snow globe. So it can only bounce back to them. Just look at them like a little kid. Like feel compassion for them. I know it's so hard. It's like, I don't want to feel compassionate for the people who are trying to bully me. And if you really want to say something to their face, say it. But I really don't want you to continue carrying their energy with you and ruining your day. There have to be a balance. If you don't check them, then you are mad yourself because you feel like you are being a pushover, correct? So say something back to them. Look at them directly in the face. Ask them this. Hey, are you okay? I really hope that you feel better soon. At least you say something back. That's not cool what you did to me. Express yourself. It's for you. It's not for them. And then walk away. I don't care what they say, how they cuss you out, how much negative energy they throw at you after that. Imagine it bounce right back to them and walk off for me. Walk off. I'm done making excuses for these fucking bullies. Like just because your life is miserable, you think you can just go around make everyone else's life miserable? How am I supposed to feel bad for you? Who's feeling bad for me? Seriously. I think cyberbully is like the lowest type of bully. And I feel so much compassion for the people that are being picked on, not knowing who the hell it is behind the keyboard attacking them. This has to stop. You know, people can kill themselves. They would go into depression from being bullied. The hell is wrong with the world we are living in? What is wrong with people cannot give each other love and peace? Why is it so much hate? Why is English my second language is something that you can't stand? I'm sorry, at least I'm still making a YouTube channel that I can help provide to people who want to cook something quick and easy because I'm a chef. I want to share my experience. How many chefs out there that the greatest chef who don't speak perfect English? Try and go to a sushi chef. Try and go to a three Michelin star chef. 
where the chef just came from French or something. See if they speak perfect English. Ignorant. It has nothing to do with you. You can feel the pain. But I want you to know that you are fucking amazing. And these bullies are measurable. I'm going to repeat it again. They are measurable. And they don't know what to do with themselves. They reflecting themselves off you. Because that's what they know best as. Don't get to their level of nastiness. And get into a fight where it's ruining you. Ruining your face, your look. Let it affect your whole energy. And I get it. I'm putting myself out there. I'm making YouTube video. This is the stuff that I have to deal with. And trust me, I get messages like that. But it's not to that point. There are people who said, oh, you know, something's wrong with your food or don't do this, don't do that. I don't care. That's negative opinion. People are allowed to have their opinion. But this is insulting and attacking me on a personal level. That's fine. I'm over it. I just feel the need that I need to make this video and talk to you guys. I seriously, genuinely hope this video go to those in need to remind them that they are powerful and wonderful and they are amazing. And do not let any negative comment of others affect them. Yes, they can feel the pain. They can feel the hurt. But do not let it take away and drain your energy to the point it will ruin your day. I didn't want to just ignore it and just pretend that nothing happened because it was still hurting inside of me. But the minute I let it out and I cry, I feel so much better. And this is why I am able to make this video for you today. I send you so much love, healing energy, and fuck those bully. I love you guys. Be strong. Karma is a bitch. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.